A burned out car that appeared at first to be a casualty turned out to be the cause. 41 year old Roger Garrett of Port St. John faces charges in connection with trying to burn his car to get the insurance money. Count one is a second degree felony, arson in the second degree. Setting a car on fire back here in the woods is one thing, but starting a 300 acre wildfire that threatens an entire neighborhood and a school is quite another. Within 15 minutes, it spread down all of our whole south fence line and down our western fence line in a heartbeat. Susanna Norris's Hidden Acres Horse Rescue Ranch was also in the fire's potential path. Homeowners watched anxiously. Students at Port St. John Junior Senior High were held inside because of the danger in the neighborhood. It took investigators about six months to unravel the alleged insurance plot. They say social media photos showed the burning car and revealed that Garrett bragged he stopped, poured gasoline on the vehicle, left the doors open and set the vehicle on fire. His downfall came when, according to an arrest warrant affidavit, he bragged about it to girlfriends. He definitely needs to be held accountable for his actions and, I mean, you know, he put us and many others in a bad situation. Garrett faces nine different charges and may have to pay back $19,000 in firefighting costs. He is presumed innocent. In Port St. John, Brevard County, Dan Billow, WESH 2 News. <laughs>